Okay, it's that time of the year when some of us should decide to buy a new iPad. If you're wondering why now, since the iPad Pro and the 10 Gen regular iPad are not yet released, the reason is simple. We're a long way to go until introduction of these products, while meanwhile there are and there will be more potential buyers that will consider purchasing one or maybe even more tablets. So let's do it. Hi friends and Welcome to this Mocking channel. My name is Marco and this is your dose of Apple news, leaked information, tech rumors and reviews. Make sure you subscribe, leave a comment below, hit the like button and don't forget to enable all notifications so you don't miss the next video. Now sponsors promo and let's go. Today's sponsor is VIP or CD Key. This company has been part of the industry for almost a decade, specialized in providing the best digital codes for the latest software and games, including Steam, Origin Keys, you play, etc., giving you access to digital downloads automatically. Even better, fully legit. The procedure is quite simple. Obviously, the first step is that you register. Let's sign up first, the email and the password. Once registration is completed, it's time that we begin our search. I will, for example, check out Windows 10. And look, the price of the key by default is almost 20 bucks. It's time that we move forward with our order. But here comes something even better. By default, not only you can find some promising deals, you just need to go to buy now and there's an option to use the discount code in this case let's use dmck and boom you get extra percentage off 1488 now beat that with this all you have to do is submit your order and complete the payment process you have multiple options available although i always prefer paypal and i find it safe afterwards you'll get your key in this scenario activating windows 10 pro is as easy as it gets when asked for the key during the activation process just pass the key press activate and that's it your copy of Windows is active and legit, which by the way should allow you to upgrade to Windows 11 for free. For more options like Windows 10 Home, 11 Pro, Office 2019, check out the links in the description and in the pinned comment. Remember, always be careful when sharing your personal and financial information. In the meanwhile, good luck and have some fun! Let's start with the basics. The entry-level iPad was the most popular Apple tablet in general and likely the most sold tablet on the planet. With excellent value for the money, it has always been the safest port for anyone willing to get their hands on fast and reliable iPad. The iPad 9 comes with 10.2 inches non-laminate to display, which is good, but you may not enjoy as much when you're outside with the strong sunlight. It's powered by the A13 Bionic, the chip that dates back to 2019, still one of the top 15 mobile processors in the world today. Paired with 3 gigs of RAM, it's an excellent performer that can be used literally for everything in terms of everyday use like web surfing, watching movies, emails and some office work that iPad OS allows, it will be great and it will not stutter. You can even play games if necessary. Its cameras are okay, with the 8 megapixel sensor at the back and updated front facing 12 megapixel ultra wide shooter for some cool FaceTime conversations. Starting from 329 USD or 379 euros in Europe, it's coming with 64 gigs of base storage with the option to upgrade to 256 gigs variant for $479 or $549 euros. It can cost you more if you select cellular option. The iPad 9 accessories, as for any other Apple product, vary with in-house smart keyboard and generation one pencil as some of the most popular ones. This tablet is also the great choice for anyone who don't mind the home button and more retro-like bezels, unless you want more modern look and you are more into complex apps and demanding games. However, it's the only iPad with a lightning port, so you won't be able to rely on cable connection with the external drive, the camera, etc. Keep in mind, its successor is expected later during the year, likely in September with more powerful chip, possibly a 14 and with 4 gigs of RAM, yet with similar design 
and in best scenario 10.2 inch screen size increase but don't get your hopes too high so unless you need an ipad asap you can wait the next one is the ipad mini finally featuring updated design the sixth generation was introduced previous year apple gave the mini that look and feel similar to the one on the 2020 ipad air all screen display thinner bezels touch id integrated into the power button and in four four different colors comparable to 9 gen ipad it did bring better cameras packing 12 megapixel sensor at the back as well as center stage ready ultra wide front facing shooter the ipad mini 6 starts from 499 usd for 64 gigs variant while at europe it stands 549 euros if you opt for 256 gigs version it will be yours for 649 bucks or 719 euros this model can be found with 5g modem as well if this is your thing the 6th gen ipad mini fully supports apple pencil second gen while apple did not produce smart keyboard for this specific tablet what's interesting is the only ipad that doesn't belong to the pro lineup with the led flash on the back this definitely makes sense considering its size and mobility if you're one of those who is doing a photo shooting sessions with the ipad the mini is probably the most suitable solution although it doesn't have all the goodies of the pro model the ipad mini it's all about its size and how easy it is to carry it around if you move a lot and you want a device with decently large display but in smaller form factor that can fit into your pocket this is the way performance wise the ipad mini will not let you down either the a15 is a monster that will deal with everything you throw at it and it's perfect for anything while its display is smaller comparable to 9 gen ipad it's still laminate the ipad mini also packs stereo speakers for better multimedia experience lightning port for this specific model is gone thanks to usb-c port you can easily connect external display disk drive or high-end camera in short the ipad mini is perfect for anyone except for more demanding users and those who want more than 8.3 inch display this year's ipad air has been recently introduced contrary to initial expectations that it will be powered by the a15 apple decided to bring all in with the m1 chip which so far was only present in pro lineup visually it's completely identical to its predecessor if we exclude new five color variations this is the same old 10.9 inch display and sadly still with 60 hertz refresh rate so you won't be able to get battery smooth scrolling feeling the m1 is only offered with 8 gigs of unified system memory which will be enough for almost everything in terms of performance this is probably the best all-around ipad that you can buy for business video and photo editing even gaming not to mention some basic stuff yet it doesn't mean it's the best choice overall which i already mentioned in some of my previous videos the fifth generation air is not now the new member of apple ipad family with 5g support and center stage 12 megapixel ultra wide front shooter at the back we still have the same 12 megapixel camera but opposite from expectations we did not get to shooter setup nor the flash same as 2020 version the ipad air 5 is apple pencil generation 2 and magic keyboard ready smart keyboard alternative also exists if you want to go easy on your pocket base 64 gigs configuration will cost you 599 or 679 in europe while 256 gig upgrade will hit you at 749 bucks or 849 in eu many tech outlets and enthusiasts regard the ipad air as the right choice for a majority of users who can afford it if i could design my air i would probably select non-existing 128 gigs variant for less cash the last one on the list are two professional ipads as apple's flagship tablets that pack a lot of firepower features but equally a hard punch to your wallet both of these models have advanced two camera setup on the back with wide and ultra wide shooter the flash and the lighter sensor for image depth and ar front facing camera is part of more complex system of identification called face id if you didn't know so no fingerprint sensor needed at the center of these is the m1 processor comparable to the ipad air you can get 16 gigs of memory as an option if you pick up high tier storage option this is 
perfect if you are using apps that require a lot of system resources like video and photo editing. The iPad Pro lineup consists of two display variants, the 11-inch iPad Pro and the bigger 12.9-inch model. Both Pro iPads have been unique for its 120Hz refresh screen rate, which makes them excellent for digital artists and those who are keen to play high-end games on the iPad. One more reason why iPad Pro line of tablets stands out are quad studio speakers which sound really loud and clear. Since we are talking about devices for professionals, its microphones are also impressive. Now if you look closely, the bezels on these products are even smaller than on the iPad Air or the iPad Mini. But if you think that 11 inch and 12.9 inch iPads are only different in sizes, you are wrong. While the 11 inch model can reach 600 nits of brightness with its LCD screen, its bigger cousin has been gifted with Mini LED, also referred as Liquid Retina XDR with much improved contrast, higher brightness and deeper blacks for top-of-the-line multimedia capabilities and better color reproduction for anyone involved in art or photography, for example. The iPad Pro base model starts with 128 gigs of storage and can go all the way up to 2 terabytes. The 11-inch model is my personal favorite and with 128 gigs of space, it's priced 799 or 869 euros if you're in Europe which may still seem a lot comparable to previously mentioned iPads. But if, for example, you were thinking about the iPad Air with 256 gigs of storage, the Pro goes only $50 more, which in Europe seems less or 30 euros. And while the Air comes with twice as much storage, for many the Pro with 128 gigs will still be sufficient while getting everything else the best it can be, if we exclude Mini-LED of its uh, bigger counterpart. The 12.9-inch iPad Pro is a bit more expensive, with starting price of $10.99 in US or $11.99 in Europe, and it can go all the way up to $2,399 or 2,579 euros for 2 terabytes option with cellular. Professional iPads support second generation Apple Pencil, Magic Keyboard and many other accessories from Apple and other third party manufacturers. What you need to know however is that till the end of the year we should get the next iteration of these devices. So if you're not in a hurry but at the same time you want the most badass iPads in the world, you may want to wait for September or something. That's just my idea. If you never owned an iPad, you should know that every new model, regardless of its specs and price range, will not let you down when we talk about performance in everyday basic use. And in many ways, you won't be able to spot the difference, which is awesome. So quick question for you since we are finishing. Which iPad would be your choice? Please answer in the comment section below. That would be all. I'm glad if you managed to keep this far. Hope you enjoyed it and if you did, please make sure you subscribe, hit the thumbs up and turn on notifications. Other than that, thank you so much for watching this Tomaking channel. My name is Marco, talk to you soon. Have an excellent day. Bye.